हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1240 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज द लेटेस्ट स्टेम सेल थेरेपी टू ट्रीट थैलेसेमिया एंड कैंसर सेल्स द कैंसर इज very much uh, threatening like bullet to everybody globally and still lot of work is going on they are targeting uh, the cancer cells with the help of so many uh, researchers but one thing is very clear that all the statistical data they are not very much uh, we can say authentic to say that the particular cancer is 100% cured but latest uh, research publication in american cancer society journal that is in the year 2022 and also i have gone through one latest uh, writing in one of the very prestigious uh, indian magazine that is called india today and it was published on 21st may 2024 just two three months ago and i was surprised to know that in india today the newly born child they are suffering from thalassemia thalassemia is a blood disorder blood disorder means the red blood cell which is the carrier of oxygen to your all part of the body and organs are not enough for produce in the body of the child and that condition is called thalassemia and once it is towards malignancy it is blood cancer finally so lot of people are suffering and nowadays when uh, you go through the data and statistical uh research i mean findings you will be surprised you know there are millions of the cases they have never smoked they never touch any tobacco any carcinogenic material but they got throat cancer and lung cancer so to say that those people who are taking tobacco cola nut or smoking they have high risk of lung cancer and throat cancer esophageal cancer and at the same time we have seen there are lot of uh, nowadays data is available that people who are chain smoker every day they are smoking 30 40 cigarettes and the life style is indiscipline the other is and in the age group of 70 80 90 they don't have any cancer problem at the same time alcohol is linked to high risk of liver cancer there are millions of the cases where people in middle east and other part they have never touched ethyl alcohol beer wine anything they are strictly muslims even in nigeria they never touch the beer or alcohol and they got liver cancer liver cirrhosis so the question is that saying the risk factor there are some five six risk factor that we are we have to take here first smoking second alcohol third doing exercise fourth maintaining the weight and good nutritional food and avoid stress and strain and of course live in oxygenated atmosphere environment not in crowded area these are all factors mentioned just to reduce the risk of the factor but it is not enough because in this uh, india today latest report they have mentioned that now india is becoming the capital of thalassemia and for that 
what they are doing all those children there are more than 20000 children today suffering from thalassemia because uh, the enough red blood cells are not produced that is blood disorder and that is genetic genes are involved so what people are doing they are going walk twice or sometimes thrice in a month sometimes every week just to for blood transfusion to add more fresh blood of rbc so that the child can survive but very interesting thing happen and if we are in digital age data age for everything billions of data are available only thing is that we should get the information so one child i will not mention the name recently her mother was suffering in the age group of 8 every month twice she has to go for blood transfusion and she used he used to ask the mother my all classmates they are not going for this type of therapy blood transfusion why you are bringing me always innocent boy and she started crying by chance one chemist met her in delhi he told that why don't you go to a website and request for stem cell embryonic cell and once it there is matching your child's problem will be over and the website was given that website i have written here uh, international website uh, that is uh, here uh, donor at the rate dkms dot bsmt dot org is a global uh, stem cell matching uh, bank we can say when she contacted they said that we have to check child's that is uh, hemoglobin antigen type uh, matching that is called hla hla means human leukocytes antigen typing this hla matching is very important only then stem cell uh, can be accepted and this hla banking is there and one in 100000 matching is there if suppose 1 million people are donating their stem cell hla only 10 people can match so the mother of that child approached and luckily there was one technician in russia his hla matched and she requested he he was ready to donate in the same way like you are donating any blood blood group o group a group b group b plus a plus like that so in the same way stem cell is also uh, donated like that once it is matched and once it is donated and that stem cell uh, was injected to that boy who was suffering from thalassemia now he is 100% fully recovered no more going to hospital the reason is there is deep medicinal chemistry of protein the reason is that once your genes which are controlling they are working like a, a megadi or we can say security guard for all organ cells how much to multiply how much to be maintained once that gene is damaged means that control is not there to make all the organ cells disciplined in that circumstances some cells are produced and they are not under control of that security guard gene become cancerous and in the same way others who are supposed to produce maybe 300 uh, million cell every day rbc to take care of the child is start producing that much it is producing less because the gene particular gene megadi is disturbed is start working is not taking part so this i am just you know i have gone through the research paper their scientific terms are very complicated 
I am trying to make it very, very simple so that let everybody understand and it is digital platform. Let everybody starting from Africa, Europe, America, Asia, all countries, they should get this website. I have given here. If there is any such type of problem, at least you can give your sample. You approach this. And then if you are lucky, anybody who is suffering from thalassemia or any blood cancer, it is 100% recovered. Because one publication is there I have given that American journal. That is the heading of that paper is risk of dying from sorry, risk of dying from uh, cancer continues to drop at an accelerated rate. And that paper is, that is research paper published by American Cancer Society, ACS, that was in January 12, 2022. And they have mentioned in that paper that today, more than 45% cancer cases, especially the blood cancer. And that blood cancer I have mentioned here, that is either leukemia or myelofibrosis, are 40% drop in America. And also another 45% were 18, 20% for those people who are maintaining their disciplined life, no smoking, no overeating, no overweight, and in this way, drastically, uh, the cancer patients are reduced and they, they have mentioned this, this is the heading uh, that the rate drop at an accelerated rate. So this is, I mean, uh, about that. And here I'm going to show you some of these latest slides of these stem cells and about uh, their role. So, in continuation, before going and showing all the slides of stem cell, embryonic cell, different cells, let me show you in a very simple language what is happening. Once uh, male and female, they meet, there is a sperm cell and plus egg. Uh, they fuse together and you get Zygote. And this zygote becomes in this, I mean, to mitosis and meiosis division. And after that, it will be having a lot of multiplication 10, 12, 100 million like that. And these are all known as embryonic cells. These embryonic cells, they are all same, same type, or we call it, or we call it stem cells. This is the beauty of these stem cells, that once they are in embryonic form, they are same, but after that, they are going to produce different type of cells for different organs, like for your heart, different type of cell, to synthesize heart muscles, brain cell to synthesize brain muscles, skin, muscles, kidney, liver, lung, all different organs are synthesized out of this. So there will be different type of like lung, then heart, then liver, then skin, like that for example. So this same embryonic cell, it is producing now different cells. And once it is producing these cells at this stage, their 
that property of producing same is not there because it has gone to that and now those cells they will be only producing the specific type of uh, cells to cover such type of organs this is the beauty of stem cell so in that case where uh, your for example gene is damaged gene cells are damaged means they are damaged and they are and that's why your every part is not getting proper command or security to be disciplined and once such condition is there that's why in thalassemia since the gene cells are damaged that gene is not having that ability or capacity to command to guard as a security uh, personal megadi to ask them to be disciplined or to order them that produce 300 million of cells every day and here let me make it very clear uh, another research paper is there uh, that i have gone through it i am quoting they have mentioned that the child body uh, keeps 17 trillion cells female are having 27 trillion cells and males are having more than 34 trillion cells and every day 300 million cells are damaged or dead and replaced and regenerated and in our body the most powerful regenerating organs are two one is liver even if your liver 90% is damaged if 10% you can put you will fully 100% recover so fast uh recovery just like uh, i mean lizard if you cut the tail immediately tail will regenerate in the same way liver is having their capacity and second is your skin cells they have very good uh regenerating uh biological process and rest of the other organs they cannot regenerate and here thalassemia we have enough red blood corpuscles the carrier of oxygen are not enough produced because uh, that to produce the red blood cell from the stem cell is not getting it that is in bone marrow the instruction from the gene to produce 1 billion cells or 500 million cells so that that child is normal and enough oxygen is reaching he or she is not suffering from any condition and here also especially in africa and in nigeria lot of people are suffering from sickle cell anemia sickle cell is all genetic defect it can be corrected from stem cell therapy this is my message to every african country that they should approach to that website connect and uh, let us try to recover and put more money to do the research in stem cell genetic uh, repair so that your all these problems of blood cancer at least 100% will be uh, recovered so i am going to show all those slides one by one here you can see very clear picture how the fusion is taking place where the sperm cell and egg cells they combine together and there is formation of zygote with the help of mitosis or meiosis cell division and this zygote is having at the very first moment two cells and these two cells are nothing but they are stem cells embryonic cells so this slide i am showing they are all uh, embryonic cell stem cells in other word and after few days maybe one two days time now very fast cell division has started and production of lot of embryonic cells have started this process is going on only to produce the stem cells still they are embryonic form no organ has been formed 
so these are the original stem cells in blue strains under high powered microscope uh, slide it is taken and these cells are ready to be injected to the patient who are suffering from blood cancer or blood disorder like thalassemia and it's a very very latest and very important therapy and let everybody uh, listen uh, this uh, lecture and information and pass on to everybody now this is real miracle i call it miracle done by stem cells what i have already explained that the all stem cells same but now they are, have started producing different type of cells for different purpose for different organs for brain for skin for lung for liver for heart for every part of the body and here it has lost its ability of that uh, means to be uh, in position to multiply because once they become different cell they are no more stem cell they will produce only brain cells they will produce only cardiac cells they will produce only lung cells so here in this therapy you have to take uh, the stem cell that stem cell uh, will be taking care of the deficiency or any type of cancer any type of abnormality so this is the image of i call it security guard or megadi or we can say the damaged cells of genes and these genes are responsible to act as security guard to give the command to all different type of cells to be disciplined and once these genes are damaged then the production of enough red blood cell will not be there because that command is not going so the less uh, number of rbc will be produced that's why the children will be suffering from uh, thalassemia means genetic blood disorder and some of them once it becomes malignant they will be suffering from leukemia and other blood cancer all this even the sickle cell all these can be taken care once we inject the stem cell through stem cell therapy by isolating stem cell from the blood which are matching i have already told you in detail so that 100% recovery of blood cancer is there today so i wish to inform you and also i should say thanks to artificial intelligence wikipedia that i got such a very very important latest image of slides of stem cells damaged gene and also different cells how it is produced by stem cells or embryonic cells here i will stop this lecture but again in the last but not least i wish because this platform of youtube what we are using we can share to millions so that people are educated in nigeria there are more than 200 million population at least thousands are suffering or millions are suffering from sickle cell anemia they are suffering from uh, blood disorder such type of uh, thalassemia condition in that circumstances nowadays lot of uh, platforms are available globally because we are living in database society data is everything trillions of data is flowing everywhere it is stored for every disease and this is the latest information don't miss the data please and that's why i have already requested the nigerian leadership even the bondo state leadership that educate your children with new skills even i have uh, written the book on artificial intelligence very very simple uh, applications and tools so that at secondary level uh, let them get the basic concept and education of new skills and emerging new applications with this i will stop once again uh, my very sincere good wishes to those parents whose children are suffering from red blood cell disorder that is called thalassemia in future they are not going to suffer they are not going to hospital every week or twice or thrice in a month once injected 
stem cell matching HNA will be enough to take care. Thank you very much for watching the lecture.